Hey guys, Steve here at Nitrous Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1968 Chevrolet Camaro, and we're going to do a walk around on it, uh, talk about the exterior features and so on. Starting at the front, um, as I always say, first thing you notice is the paint. Uh, this color is a light blue, it is actually in the correct color the vehicle came in, which is grotto blue. Um, of course, we do have the racing stripes up the middle of the hood and uh, trunk area, which we'll go over once you get a straight shot on when we walk around. Um, you'll notice the 350 emblems on the front fenders. Um, it does indeed have a 350 in it. We're going to show you that here momentarily. Uh, moving along here, we do have the stainless wheel well moldings at all four corners. We got the steel rally wheels um, with the beauty rings and the center caps wrapped in the BF Goodrich Radio TA uh, raised white letter tires. Um, and also that is at all four corners. Coming along to our first gap here, driver's side door to fender. Very nice and even going down. Got our body lines here, here, and here lining up very nicely. Our bright worker riding windows is in great condition. You do have some scratching here and there, but overall very nice shape. Driver's side of the windshield and driver's side side glass, no chips and cracks, and also this side is slightly tinted. Come along to our second gap, driver's side door to quarter pan. Very even going down, and our, gap, our body lines line up very nicely. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the driver's side door here so you can see the interior from this point of view. Blue vinyl seats, buckets in the front. Uh, carpet is in great condition, seats is very nice. Um, the dash pad, door panels are also in great condition. You got the uh, center console there with the uh, floor horseshoe shifter there with the gauges in the front. Very nice condition. Of course, our jams also no rust or anything on them either. Moving along, um, coming along to the back here. Our bright work around the rear window, great condition. Our rear window, no chips and cracks. Um, and as you will see, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the racing stripes on the trunk here. They are white. Um, our trunk gap is very nice the whole way around. Of course, these stripes look really nice as well. The paint is really good condition the whole way around the car. Our back bumper here, the chrome is in great shape. Really nice chrome on the bumper here. Um, of course, our bezels and our lenses for our tail lights, reverse lights, are all in great condition. I don't see any chips and cracks on either of those. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the trunk and we'll go over everything inside here. Um, you'll see underneath the trunk is body color. Um, inside the jam, great condition, no rust or holes in there. And our weather stripping is intact and in good condition. Inside the trunk floor here, you'll see it looks fantastic in here. Uh, the trunk floor is sprayed in the body color. Um, of course, you've got your drains here and here. You've got your indentations, embossments all in here. The inside of the trunk looks great. Really nice inside. Uh, moving along. Coming along to the passenger side. Again, I'll mention the paint. It is in great condition. Uh, very glossy all around here. Really smooth. Um, Again, you got your wheel well moldings this side as well. And as I mentioned earlier, the BF Goodrich with the steel rallies. Come along to a passenger side glass. No chips and cracks and also slightly tinted. Our first gap, passenger side quarter to door. Very even going down. And of course our body lines line up nicely there. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the passenger side door so you can see the interior from this point of view. First off, our door jams are in great condition. You can see the uh, center console there, the dash pad, the dash itself, the seats and carpeting is in great shape. Very nice condition. Of course, blue on blue, very nice color combination. Moving on. Second gap, passenger side, door to fender. Very even going down. You see our body line here, here, and here lines up very nicely. Our passenger side of our windshield, no chips and crack. And of course, you get a nice shot of those white racing stripes going up the hood. And this is a two inch cow induction hood, it is steel. Come along to the front. Our front bumper chrome is in very nice condition. 
The grill's in great shape. You do have a small crack right here and here, but very nice shape overall. Um, our bezels and headlights are in great condition, our markers as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pop the hood so you can see the engine bay and we'll go over everything in here. Underneath the hood, your aprons, firewall are on black. Of course, underneath your hood is body color. What we have in the engine bay here is a 350 Chevrolet small block V8 engine. Uh, it's got a Holley Street Dominator aluminum intake with a Holley double pumper four barrel carburetor. Of course, we've got the exhaust headers, we've got the uh, uh, Excel wires, we do have power steering, power brakes. This engine also has aluminum heads, um, a nice little performance feature, which of course helps, and being a 350 in a car this uh, small and light really makes it go. Um, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to put this up in the air, go over the uh, features of the undercarriage and the components under there. Hey guys, we got our 68 Camaro up in the air, we're going to go through the undercarriage here and uh, point out the unique things and um, things that they have done to it under here and what we see. Starting at the front, uh, control arms and so on look to be of a stock style. Um, we do have the steel rally wheels at all four corners and the BFG radial TA tires which I pointed out earlier. Um, we do have disc brakes all four corners. Yes, this does have front and rear disc brakes. Um, our front cross member here, nice and solid. Let's say ruster holes in that. We do have a front sway bar on this vehicle. Um, our front frame sections, look good, looks good. Um, our oil pan on our 350 Chevrolet, our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our 350 turbo automatic transmission, which is thin and aluminum, that helps with the heat dissipation. Um, and it does have a drain, so you don't have to take it off the uh, pan every time. Having a drain is a nice feature. And our output seal, no leaks at any of those, and everything is nice and dry, which of course is what we want. We do have dual exhaust on this vehicle as well. We got the long tube headers here, going back into two accelerator turbo mufflers, and we'll go over that as we get further along. Um, we do have our e-brake cables here, going back to the both wheels. Our floors, floors look very good. You got your embossments here, you got your drains here, 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 here. Um, nice and coated, you got a black paint on everything under here, it looks really good. Um, another thing I want to point out before we go any further, these things here, we got frame connectors on here, tying up the unibody, gives you strength, rigidity, uh, really helps with uh, traction and so on. All that works together for your benefit when you have a good rigid frame there and needs help. Um, coming along here, coming back, right here, as I had said, we've got the accelerator turbo mufflers. The tailpipe come out of that, up to the top over the axle, and dump down at either side of the leaf springs. Um, and getting to that, we've got leaf spring suspension on the back of here with air shocks on the back so you can adjust your height up and down. Um, our front spring mounts and our rear spring mounts both look really good. Um, we have a 10 bolt rear end on this. Um, we do have a chrome differential cover on the rear. Our input seal at the differential and our rear differential cover, no leaks there either. Um, like I had said, disc brakes on the back, air shocks, leaf springs. Um, our flooring up above the rear differential, that all looks really good. Our fuel tank here looks really nice. Our straps, mounting points there are good. We've got the rubbers in the straps, and our mounting points there look nice as well. Um, all in all, looks really nice under here. What we're going to do is drop it down, start the engine so you can hear it right. 